What's up everybody? My name is Vincent. Welcome to Cryptolution where we talk about everything under the moon, the crypto universe. Today is Wednesday, March 6th. Now in today's video, we're going to be talking about the Ethereum NFT market. Right now it is completely in the red. Many of the blue chip Ethereum NFT collections have actually gone down significantly in price. Now we're going to share with you why that is actually happening with these blue chips. And we also want to share with you why this could be the opportunity to buy these NFT blue chips in the next NFT bull run, which absolutely could happen. And I will show you possibly when that could happen in the cycle. So with that said, be sure to smash that like button, subscribe to the channel. Don't forget to join our Patreon page. And most importantly, please be careful with any of the scammers down in the comments below. I will never reach out via WhatsApp, Telegram, direct messaging, or email. So please be careful and invest safely. So guys and girls, let's get right into it. As you can see here, if we look at some of these blue chip collections, such as Bored Apes, this used to be over 20 Ethereum. We actually saw this dip as low as 15 Ethereum. Even Mutant Ape Yacht Club right now is below mint price. Pudgy Penguins, which used to also be at around 20 Ethereum, at right now, 13 Ethereum. So let's understand why the Ethereum NFT market is in red. Well, it's simply because the Ethereum price is skyrocketing. Just this morning, we saw that Ethereum was at 3,900, almost close to its old previous time high of 4,728. So right now what's happening is we're seeing a bleeding in the NFT Ethereum market. People wanna take out their profits on NFTs, convert it into Ethereum so that they can have Ethereum as the ultimate cryptocurrency for their value portfolio. Now, what I've pulled up here is the all-time high chart. So if you're aware, when the Bitcoin happening happened in 2020, we saw a huge bull market rally and we saw the first bull run of Bitcoin hit to 60 or above $60,000 and Ethereum around $4,000 at the first bull run. Then we saw a retracement in Bitcoin and Ethereum, and then we experienced a second run and that brought Ethereum up to around 4,500, 4,700 roughly. Now, when this happened, this is when the Ethereum NFT bull market started happening. We actually started seeing many of these blue chip collections go up in price. We're talking about your fork levels, all time highs. People got rich, bought homes, bought cars with their NFTs that they sold. Then we saw a huge decrease in Ethereum's price, but that didn't really slow down the Ethereum marketplace. We saw that Ethereum NFTs were still trading within this time, but now we're experiencing another bull run. And so what that means is now you're seeing the liquidity crisis that's happening with Ethereum NFTs. So this could be the potential opportunity to buy these NFTs at a dirt cheap price because what we could be experiencing is that one day we're gonna experience another second cycle or a cycle that is a little delayed. So the Ethereum NFT bull market could be delayed Delay. So once Ethereum goes up in price, a lot of those people that are taking profits are going to want to buy specific things, not just cars or houses, but maybe they want to buy NFTs they couldn't afford before. So they're going to buy into these blue chip NFTs because these are the top NFTs that I think they could potentially do well. Now, I just want to share with you some collections, only four that I think are a really great entry because they're affordable, not, not too much, not too pricey. So let's go ahead and cover the first one. And that was called Moonbirds. Now, Moonbirds used to be around 18 to even 20 Ethereum way back in the day. But Kevin Rose, who was the founder of this collection, wasn't really delivering on the promise of what the collection was supposed to be. And eventually, the price of this Moonbirds collection ended up dropping further, lower and lower. And recently, Moonbirds has been acquired by Yuga Labs. Yuga Labs owns the assets to CryptoPongs, Bored Apes, Mutant Apes, so forth, so on, even MeBits. And they have this other side, Metaverse, and also gaming sectors as well. So Moonbirds is this next collection that they've acquired, and now it's no longer a part of Kevin Rose, it's now part of Yuga Labs. So with this being under one Ethereum at exactly 0.91 Ethereum, I definitely think that this could be a great price of entry to buy into this collection. Because sooner or later, this won't be a one Ethereum anymore. But please do your own due diligence before buying into it. Now, speaking of Yuga Labs, we have to talk about Mutant Apes. Mutant Apes is actually now below mint price. Yes, you heard me right. It's 2.73 Ethereum. Remember, Ethereum right now is roughly around 38 or $3,900, so it's still pretty pricey. But regardless, this is actually one of those blue chip collections that I just don't think is gonna go anywhere. Mutant Apes have been there since Bored Apes have been there. They were the OGs of the space next to CryptoPunks. So I definitely think that this will have a return in its bull rally later on down the road. It may not happen right away. Maybe you can watch the floor price, maybe it will drop down even lower. 
But this is something that I think could absolutely do really well in the future. And then we also have to talk about Lil Pudgies. Now Lil Pudgies is the second collection after Pudgy Penguins. We talked about how Pudgy Penguins used to be at around 20 Ethereum and dropped down to around 13 Ethereum, but Lil Pudgies used to be close to around two Ethereum has dropped down to 1.14. Now again, this is the second collection to come after Pudgy Penguins. But I think that Lil Pudgies are really a great value and a great entry price. There's some speculation around Pudgy Penguins or Lil Pudgies getting a token airdrop in the future. And if it's true, this potentially could be your shot to score these at a really affordable price at around 1.14 Ethereum. I hope that this information is helpful for you to consider. This Pudgy or Pudgy Penguins is going to be something that you want to be a part of because the community is pretty outstanding. Now, the last collection I want to talk about is a collection that is now below 2 Ethereum. It is D Gods. It's 1.95 Ethereum. I never thought I would ever see this floor price this low, but it is at 1. 1.95 this is along with many other blue chips that have taken massive dumps but this collection the community and its founder and its team is pretty awesome i do believe that this collection has a lot of promise later on down the road when the nft bull market does come for ethereum and it will come it just may not happen right away we have to experience the bull rally for ethereum and on Bitcoin. Now, as a conclusion and statement, I just mentioned four different NFT collections on Ethereum. It does not mean that you need to buy all of these. You need to make sure you need to connect with the artwork, number one. Number two, make sure that the community is outstanding and you gotta see that there's long-term value because you're not gonna see short-term return on investments right away with these NFTs. This is the long-term. You're hopefully buying these right now and waiting possibly up to seven months, even up to a year to potentially see profits that could maybe be life-changing. So keep this in mind before buying these NFTs, do your own research, and never invest more than what you're willing to lose. So let me know what other collections that we haven't covered on this channel or Ethereum NFTs that we think could be a great entry price as of right now. Let me know those comments down below and I cannot wait to read them. So be sure to smash that like button, subscribe to the channel, don't forget to join our Patreon page to receive all of our alpha calls on all these Ethereum NFT collections. Till then, see you guys and girls next time.